Hello again, it's now time for Mission. And Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Now, teenage girls of the Loloto Primary and Junior High School in the Tandai District of the Northern Region um, can receive support from sanitary pads from an NGO. And the support comes six months after TV3 Mission reported on the ordeal girls go through in procuring sanitary pads. Stanley Niblewu has filed this report. Lulutu, located in the Pandai district of the northern region, has a school serving some five communities. The school is dominated by girls, majority of who are teenagers. In August last year, TV3 Mission visited the school and discovered that some pupils are unable to attend school at certain times. Teenage female pupils, for instance, find it difficult to attend school when they are in their menstrual period. The reason they cannot afford sanitary parts. Poverty and single parenting are the bane for many pupils here. As a result, the girls' prefect of the Loloto Junior High School and several others took to farming so they can earn some income to support themselves. She owns one acre of mixed crop farm, which she depends on to provide her educational needs. This has been a ritual since the last three years. Female students who could not farm to support themselves stay out of school when menstruation sets in. Six months on, after TV3 Mission aired their plight, a non-governmental organization, Massive Cheerful Givers, has stepped in and now the students can smile through the storm. It was a challenging time for the team assessing the community. Roads in Pandai are in deplorable state. The mission team and members of the NGO went through what the residents have been enduring for years. <laughs> the dust, however, did not discourage the team from achieving their aim. A deba attended by parents, opinion leaders, members from the district education directorate, teachers and students was held. Items donated include 27 boxes of sanitary parts, 500 exercise books, and 1,000 pens. You can't give them pad to go to school. We also have to add learning material to it so that when they come to school, they feel comfortable. They feel like uh, they are one of us, you know, and they are human beings. They deserve the best. Founder of Massive Cheerful Givers, Togbe Kodeza Jidefo Frank Tulasi, also outlined a 10 year plan for the school. Lotu is very far. So coming up with this project, we, we really need to invest more money. But looking at uh, the traditional way of solving this period issue, we are also looking at how they can solve it by using uh, a handmade product like cotton. So we are coming up with a project like that. Parents and teachers were grateful for the support. For the beneficiaries, the intervention is welcoming news. I feel happy because... I can concentrate with my books and I'll be feeling confident to learn to sit in class. In my menstruation, I don't come to school because the blood will be flow on me. And so now that you have the part, how is that going to help you? It will help me to come to school always and learn well. Pandai District Director of Education, Nayan Faustina, who described the development impeding girl child education as unfortunate, said the directorate has placed premium on education. It is very pathetic. And so we have made a move. Anywhere we go and we find any child in, a, in need for which the parent is not able to afford, we contact the parent to talk to the person to be able to assist the child to continue her education, particularly girls. She loaded TV3 for its expose. So grateful to TV3. More grace to their elbows so that they will continue to uh, work in this district. And then our district will be advertised for more intervention into the district. With this social intervention, female students of this school would be able to come to school confidently even when they are in their menstrual periods. There was also a sensitization session for the female students and mothers present. Two members, Linda Asana Ijapon and Yvonne Baini, non-practicing nurses, handled the session. So you watch from front to 
to back. You don't start from your anus and then end here. You start washing from here. You clean the. You don't. You don't insect your hands inside. You get just clean very well with water. The Kwandai district would require additional support from corporate organizations, government and philanthropic organizations to address the educational challenges. Stanley Nibli, TV3 News, Lulutu, Pandai, Northern Region.